Hello, I'm Carrie Carver. I'm a uh, upper school math teacher at Woodward Academy. And um, I want to talk about how I've used the resiliency skills with my students, especially this year during the um, pandemic when we had remote school. Um, I want to say that I was really grateful that with uh, three out of my five classes, I had already taught them about some of the resiliency skills. So it was a very easy transition when we weren't remote for me to say, hey, remember the stuff we did in the classroom? Um, we're going to keep doing that remotely. And so I already had the context. Uh, it was a little harder with the students that I hadn't done that with in the live school. But for those kids that I had already introduced some stuff to, it was pretty seamless. Um, I want to say I always start with the resiliency zone graph, which is just a graph with two lines on it and a curve in the middle. And I first learned about that graph several years ago at a C learning workshop. And when it was presented to me at the workshop, the teacher um, said, this is what it means to be human. Like this graph where we're going up and down and sometimes we're triggered and sometimes we're frozen and sometimes we're fine, that that's what it means to be human. And as soon as he said that, I was like, I have to tell kids about this. And I've done it ever since first day of school for the past few years. I, I just present that to all of my students and hope that they kind of get the message of just because you have ups and downs and good days and bad days and good moments and hard moments, um, that's what it means to be human. That's, that's okay. Um, and then from there, um, I start introducing the help now strategies, which I think of as what to do in an emergency. If you're feeling out of control, um, this is a help now go right to this. Kids really like rubbing their hands together. They really like pushing against a wall. By the way, I'm talking about teenagers, high school students like this stuff. Um, and so my students had learned those skills and practiced them in the classroom. So, you know, first few days of remote classes, you know, we started class with, um, you know, a help now strategy, trying them out, trying out different ones, finding which ones uh, students liked. And, um, you know, we all really needed it because those I don't know, it may still be triggering to think about the pandemic, but certainly in those first few weeks, um, I think many of us experienced more triggering than we usually do. And um, so my students were engaging in that. And then once we practiced that for a while, I then taught them um, resourcing, which I think of as more proactive, um, that when you're feeling okay, um, you can do resourcing, which is thinking of something that brings you a sense of well-being. You can kind of enhance and grow your sense of well-being. And during the uh, remote school, I talked to my students about the idea of things feel kind of out of control right now. You can't do what you want to do. Activities that you were looking forward to are canceled. Um, little, I know for me personally, I told them little things that happen that normally wouldn't bother me uh, are kind of sending me over the edge right now. Now that I'm in uh, sheltering in at home, I'm more easily thrown off my game. And I said, you know, resourcing is a way to take back a little bit of control. It's not just what happens to me in my day that makes me bounce up and down on that resiliency graph. It's not just the things that happen to me during the day. It's also my decisions about, well, what do I dwell on and think about? So if I choose to focus on some things that give me a sense of well-being, if I prepare for my day or prepare for my math class, everybody loves math class. If I prepare for my class that way, then I can handle the things that come at me a little bit better. And of course, if I don't handle it well, I can go right back to those help now strategies. So I found all those resiliency skills um, tremendously helpful personally and then helpful using with my students during our many weeks of remote school.